So um, if I have to explain my job uh, to my friends, I always tell them um, that if they ever want to buy a house, they'll uh, need to start with submitting a file um, to the bank. And those are the files that we are analyzing each day at the, at the headquarters of AXA Bank. So actually I have to estimate the risk for AXA Bank and I have to estimate the risk for the customers as well. Um, so in the end, um, we have to decide whether we will uh, finance the project of the customer or not. Um, you don't need a specific uh, background um, to, to become a product expert. Um, I have a background of, uh, of paralegal uh, practice, so um, with a specification of crime and justice. And I don't have a financial background at all, but I think um, when you're willing to learn from your colleagues who have, who have years and years of experience and knowledge, you will already come a long way um, and supplemented that with on the on the job training, uh, you will you will get all the tools to make progress in your function uh, as you need. So I took up this function uh, with a function of a debt collector at first. Um, so there was like customers who didn't pay their mortgage for at least three months. They were offered a repayment plan to, to get them back on track. And after that, I took up a function at the customer care center. Um, for me, that was really helpful because you, you need to know the knowledge of all the details of the products that, uh, that credits have to offer and not just one in, in particular. So I really brought my, my knowledge there um, and without that function, I wouldn't uh, be offered the function of credit analyst um, as, I've, as if I'm doing now. Um, so now I'm a, I'm a credit analyst for about a year and a half now already. So, uh, so what I like the most in my job is the, the responsibility that comes with it. Um, because we all have a mandate to, to decide our own files without the intervention of, of, of someone. Um, so each and every file is, all, is also different. So there's a lot of variety in a job too. Um, so actually there's never a dull moment and, and that's what I like the most in my job. So um, I chose the financial sector as an employer uh, because it was a world where I did not know much about, to be honest. Um, and that triggered me and inspired me a lot because um, yeah, I think it's interesting to learn new things and to develop more skills and uh, to broaden my horizon. And um, yeah, it's a very, very interesting sector. It's always changing and evolving. Um, so I'm very glad that I took the shot to, to work at the financial sector, uh, to be honest. So I'm currently working as a credit analyst um, that's deciding files of, of mortgage loans. So customers who will, uh, who will buy a house, who will build a house, who will buy a house in a, in a foreign country, um, etc. Um, those are the files that we are deciding um, here. So up to a certain amount of credits, we can decide our own files. So that's a lot of responsibility. Um, and at the end, we, we can just decide without intervention whether we will finance the project of the customer or not. So the future of my role as a credit analyst is, is always evolving. Um, for example, we now have a new program that made our role more into uh, deciding the more complex and divergent files because the agencies and the brokers can, can decide the more easy files themselves. So it's always evolving and that's a fun part of it. So if I would uh, have to give any advice to young people, that would be uh, to don't let yourself be pushed into a corner just because you studied some course in, in college. Uh, you can always pursue the, the work career that you that you want uh, or that you're willing to do. So, and if I have to give a, if I can give a tip, try the financial sector because you won't regret it. <laughs>